Uh, g'day everyone. I am doing another build guide. Uh, this time uh, I will be focusing on uh, low budget. I'm going to try and stick beneath 100 flame elementium for the build. Uh, I am going to stick to um, level 80. Uh, this is relatively easy to achieve uh, going through uh, to tier 5, tier 6 maps. Um, and so I'll just show you what I've done. I'm level 96, so I have 16 talent points left over. Uh, I don't have all of the things unlocked. This would be um, overflown mana for more mana regen, which is actually life regen. This is actually kind of huge, so ideally you want to get level 84. However, for this video, I'll just do level 80. Uh, going through the points, you want minion damage, minion damage, two points anywhere else. Neither of these give you anything. They just get you to the next node. Uh, minion critical strike, critical damage. Uh, excuse me. One point in barrier absorption. Uh, that's just because I was removing points to make it 80. Uh, 30 strength into minion damage, minion crit. Uh, then you want minion damage, uh, minion skill level. Later on, you'll get uh, minion max life and minion max life. Uh, the points up here uh, go with orders for minion damage. Uh, you could take um, shrink back. Uh, however, for this, we'll just stick with uh, minion damage. Over here, we'll be going... I'll probably switch back to Mighty Guard, uh, depending if we can get a very cheap um, Isomorphic or Mighty Guard... Um, Infinity as well as a good weapon. However, I think I'll just go with Mighty Guard, uh, not Isomorphic, and go with two very cheap, unique uh, weapons instead. Uh, On to Machinist. We want minion damage with minion damage, uh, minion max life with minion max life. This build is all about your minions. Um, blowing themselves up and dealing their max life in damage. Uh, minion crit, minion crit, minion damage, minion skill radius. Uh, they explode, bigger explosions, better clear. A uh, bit of armor, a uh, bit more armor. A uh, bit of barrier absorption with barrier absorption and gain barrier when using sentry skills. Uh, Physical damage into chance to ignore armor. Uh, later on, you'll get minion aura. Um, double damage and synthetic troop skill level. Uh, here, you'll go with boss for plus one um, troops. You could go with broken shell, but I never do. Uh, I just go with boss. Over here... Kinetic conversion for 20% reduced damage taken. You're always moving and you gain more barriers uh, for every 5 meters. You could go with burning aggression if you just want more damage. However, uh, we're going to be doing Path of the Brave, uh, Tier 7. I might try a Tier 8 and see if we can do that. Uh, so you want a bit more tank. Damage is not a problem with this build. Um, next up, we have minion damage, minion damage, minion max life, which is damage, minion max life, which is damage, uh, attack and cast speed, um, attack and cast speed, the minion attack and cast speed does nothing, down here you want regen, a bit more regen, uh, going across, minion crit strike, minion crit strike and damage, uh, more armor, more armor and absorption, uh, this adds a percentage of your armor to your barrier absorption. So in gear, we are stacking armor, life, res, uh, minion damage if we can get it, and crit strike damage is more of a later, probably not on this gear. Later on, when you get uh, the uh, Warden's Breast Pin that converts up to 100% of your critical strike chance and damage, 
to your minions. So that is when you transition to getting uh, crit damage, crit strike on your gear uh, to transfer to your minions. Uh, down here, barrier absorption. Later on, you'll get uh, this one for gain barrier when you're about to uh, take se a severe injury, which is uh, a single instance of damage applied exceeds 35% of the sum of max life and max energy shield. Um, so that's if you hit, get hit for, say, 1,500. That's probably more than 35%. Uh, you'll gain barrier, which is a reduction of uh, damage. Up here, minion damage and 8% of damage taken is transferred to a random minion. So that is just 8% damage reduction. Uh, onto packs, I'm actually not sure how many uh, I need to take off for this to get down to level 80. However, as you can see, almost all of my points are in item drop quantity. Um, so if the damage is low uh, when we do the um, tests, I will just remove, say, a quarter of these and transfer um, all these ones down here are all drop quantity anyway. So we can basically ignore that, uh, transfer these to damage. So if you are running things, you just switch these to damage. We don't need this. We'll go with more damage. This is all tank. So to get this down to level 80, we'll just pretend that none of these are allocated as they are all drop quantity anyway. So they don't benefit your tank or damage at all. Uh, over here, that's mana regen, we don't care. Um, Ellie res, free Ellie res, why not? Uh, and reduce damage taken. So all these damage nodes are priority. All these tank nodes are priority. Uh, that's going to give us pretty much nothing. Um, so because we'll be using compound potion, so we'll be capping out on uh, mana at all times anyway. Onto hero traits, we have surprise force, quick battle, preparation, guerrilla tactics, and fuel for war. As you can see, I haven't equipped any uh, hero memories or relics, uh, a relic and hero memories rather, as we'll be buying all of that stuff as we go through. Uh, I've got no equipment on. My info is absolute garbage. Level 96 reverted back to 80 basically. And uh, now we'll go to the auction house and keep track of uh, the trade house rather. Keep track of what we are buying. I've cleared my transaction history so we can see exactly what I've bought at the end and do a quick summary. Uh, so now I'm just going to uh, search for the first item, which is going to be the weapons. I'm going to go one-handed weapons, uh, interlocking soul. I need to be in advanced. Uh, weapon, base gear, one-handed hammer, interlocking soul. These only require level 15, so they are absolutely insane when uh, leveling through the story. You can buy them for practically nothing. Uh, going through, yeah, here we go. Five flame sand for that. That would be very good for leveling through the uh, story. It's got skill radius, so it's not horrible. Uh, be better if it was just flat damage. Uh, like this one. However, that is five flame sand. You get that by level 15 uh, and you're good to go. Uh, that'll get you two maps. Uh, just get two of those. Um, what we are looking for in this is a corrosion, uh, which is heal, I believe. No. Nope. Let me just quickly check. 
So this is what we're after. Restores max life when summon skills are used instead of the default, which is consumes max life when minion skills are used. Um, we ideally want an item level, excuse me, 85 weapons so we can get the maximum amount of energy possible. Uh, these are more expensive than I expected. So we'll go back and we will reduce the item level to 80. Still expensive. That's actually amazing. These are more expensive now than they were at the start of the league. Um, so let's just remove the item so we can get these for seven. That was item level 50. That is very low. Hardly ever any energy at all. Uh, that one's okay. That one's pretty good. 32, maybe. Six seventy nine. All right, let's quickly look at those. They're from a previous video. So, eleven energy. That's very bad. Sixty one energy. Item level eighty six. Considering the others are all six and sevens, so that's eight flame elementium. So far. That's 35 and 92, 32 energy, 46 energy, 45 energy. Let's just remove that one because that's not good. Uh, so what's the five? It's 32 energy, 92, 30. So 35% minion, minion damage with 20, 92, sorry, and 25 minion life. Uh, this one's 109 all up. This one's 120-ish. This one's 115, 45. This is low energy, but we'll go with it anyway, because we're trying to save currency. So, so far we are on 13 flame elementium. Uh, the next item. Okay, the next item will be uh, rings. So we go advanced, return to search. Back to standard gear, we want rings. We want fire, cold, and lightning res. Don't want those, we want about 35. Let's see how cheap that is. Highlight max of five. This one's three. Max life, couple of res. That's not bad. That one's just max life, couple of res as well. Ugh, that's max mana actually. Let's remove that one. Add this one. Five. Max life, couple of res. one. Cold res, more res, more res, life regen, that's pretty good. Let's return to search, let's remove say lightning and add erosion. There we go, highlight prices, confirm. So this one's corroded, so we've got life, life, armor, res, 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 that is very good. At the start of the league, you probably won't get something like this, but uh, probably don't need something that great at the start of the league. Uh, life, armor, res, res, res. It's quite good. Max life, res, res, res. All res. That's quite good. Uh, damage, who cares? Damage, who cares? Damage, who cares? Who cares? Spam call. A lot of garbage on that one. Hmm. Hmm. 
another thing you can do um, it's not horrible uh, I've reached the limit alright let's remove these we've bought two of those so we're good so it's max life three res that are half decent let's look at the lows first that's ES armor that's not really that great actually this one's life regen uh, a fair bit of cold res fire lightning that's fire lightning ah fire cold and erosion max life that's actually really good so we're going to buy that one so I think we're up to 18 FE now so what was that that was a couple of res going to pick up a lot of res anyway that's got life regen yep going to go with this one so we'll remove those. So we've got two weapons, two rings with quite a bit of res. Let's claim all and see where we're at with res. Lightless objects, they're fierce and install, install, install. Install. Level one, level 36, 15 and 15. So <laughs> you can wear the stuff from level 36. Um, but if you're leveling through the story, you're not going to have this sort of flame elementium until you get to maps anyway, unless you, at the start of a league, start selling flame sand and stuff immediately. Um, I think you unlock the trade house at level 60, so you're not going to have any of this stuff until level 60 anyway. So a cap fire res, pretty close to cold res. We need a lot of lightning res and a lot of erosion. Next, we'll look at uh, amulet. Or necklace. So we want advanced back uh, trinket neck. Uh, we don't care about base gear. Ideally, we'd love one of these. Um, however, the base is three, so that's probably out of our budget right now. Again, res. Uh, we're capped on fire, so we're cold, lightning, erosion. Cold's pretty close. We only need about 20 of that, 30 of that, and some erosion. Uh, on highlight, max five. There's one for three. Has max life armor. Has a lot of cold, but I don't need that much cold, but it's three. Oop. One. I'll save it just because it's one. That's super cheap. Oh, already saved that one. Max life. Those three, that's a lot of lightning res. Nope. Minion damage, very nice. Max life, mana regen, eh. Life regen, cold, light, that's got a lot of uh, good affixes. Ripple, that's gas speed. That's garbage. That's not bad. No. Won't spend too long on this because I think we've already found some half decent ones. Cinnabar, no. no. Alright, let's go have a look. This one has nothing, nothing. Bit of armor. That's just res and not much else. Three will get us max life, armor, erosion, cold. That'll cap us on cold. Um, get pretty close on lightning. And give us 22. It's actually really nice. Uh, this one is max life, regen, 3 res, minion damage. I think we're going to go with the 3 FE because it's cheap. So we'll go with this one, which gives us max life, armor. This gives us nothing. Gives us erosion, cold, lightning, and minion damage. That's actually really quite nice. We just update this sheet. 
So now we're capped on fire and cold. We need some lightning and some erosion. We'll get that on our gloves. So next we can look at the gloves. Uh, again, advanced. Gloves, we want strength because we want armor. Um, item level matters now because we want um, energy. You can't get energy on jewelry. That's why the item level doesn't really matter. Uh, however, on weapons, helmet, chest, gloves, uh, boots, item level matters. Uh, again, we want res. We need lightning and erosion. Uh, capped on the others, so we don't care about those too much. We want uh, life. Max life. Can't get minion life on gloves. So, highlight prices again. Five. That one's got block chance. Eh. Don't hate it. One. Attack, attack. Max life and res. Again, it's one FE. Quite good. Eh. One. Regen. Max life. Res, res. It's not horrible. Alright, what do we got? We've got a couple of blocks. That's probably okay to start. Uh, erosion, uh, lightning, we don't care about the fire, and max life, 100 max life, that's pretty good. Uh, this one has max life and a couple of res. That one's obviously better, but it's also 5. This one has max life, regen, and it's 1. So we'll go with this. That should get us pretty close to uh, res cap. Install that. Okay, we're not quite there on lightning. Uh, erosion's pretty good for such a low um, entry uh, build for this level. Um, next, I kind of want to leave belt just in case we have budget for an infinity. Uh, infinity will enable us to apply this weapon to our minions. Um, however, we need chest, helmet, and boots. And we needed, what was it again? Lightning and erosion. Trade house, advance. Return chest, strength chest, lightning and erosion, life, get our max life and get minion max life. Let's just go all out and be greedy. Minion, minion damage, uh, we want all that and we want it for five. It's pretty good for 2 FE and the only other one is this one which is 5 all res minion life, minion damage, erosion alley res, that is insane uh, let's just compare those two so 4000 armor uh, I forgot to look at energy however this one's got 62 which is yeah, it's not great um, let's just go back to advance put in Item level 85. Yeah, so it's half as much energy. That's actually really bad. We might have to spend a little bit more on the chest. 10 FE. Or we can go back and remove minion max life. Eight. Okay, that looks like that's all that's on it. Remove minion damage. Let's see if there's any for five. Oh, there's one for three. Ooh, 
Okay, another one for three. Just with damage taken, max life, all res. Yeah, that's not bad. Ugh, eight max life, garbage. Alright, I think we've spent long enough on this one. So that's not ideal because the energy is rather low. That one's got a lot of energy for its item level. Uh, it's not that great rolls. This one looks like it's sold. Is that why it's blanked out? I'm not sure. This one has max life, not much. That's actually garbage. This one's eight. I don't know why those are blanked out like that. Maybe because of the um, price filter I set on the other tab. I'm not sure. That one's all res. It's going to cap us on lightning. All res doesn't apply to erosion. Um, so that's a lot of res, actually. Although this one's got minion max life, max life, minion damage. Uh, we're going to go with that. So, 10. Oops, I don't want that. Yes, I've sold a lot. Collect items. Let's have a look. How we're looking. Almost max res across the board. So, now we no longer need resistances on gear. We can be greedy with the helmet and the boots. And without resistances the price goes down. So now we want a helmet, strength based. We want item level 85. We want minion. Minion max life. We want max life regen. Um, See what that brings up. Let's be really greedy and go 50%. Nope, that's too greedy. Uh, it's a starter. Let's go with 40. Nope, 30. Got one for five. It's got reasonable. Yep. Because it's the last little bit of um, erosion res that we need. So that's the helmet done. I'm not sure what we're up to. Maybe we can Humans check that very shortly. The we'll equip the helmet. Boots. Ideally, we want movement speed. Advanced boots. Strength. Item level 85. We want move. 20%. We want life. Life regen. There's nothing for about minions there. Anything for minions here? Nope. So we'll just go with that. Highlight prices of max 5. It's one for 5. Another one for 5. I don't know why that's my favourite. There we go. One. Hello. Two and two. Yep. Collection limits reached because I still have the chest there and the helmet. Advanced. Let's have a look. So we've got max life, regen, gear armor, huge movement speed. That excites me. Uh, it's for five. This one's... Mm. Eh. Uh, max life, regen, movement speed, movement speed if you haven't been. Mm. 100 max life, huge movement speed. So I didn't really like those two. Erosion, movement speed, 
max life, chance to avoid ailments, max life, regen, regen, while moving. All of them have this. Hmm. Very interesting. I think to save on FE, we'll go with... Ah, it's expired. No way. 25. Thirty-four movement speed, hundred max life. This one's got erosion, so that'll cap us on erosion. Collect that, put it on. Kind of lucky that the energies are pretty much all the way up, so we don't have to waste time. Uh, getting those to max. Uh, let's see how much we have spent. So we are currently on 8, 13, uh, 18, uh, 23, 26, 27, 37, uh, 40, uh, 37, 42, uh, 44. Uh, so we... Uh, 44 FE is kind of insane, actually. Uh, it's much cheaper than I was expecting. Uh, next, we will go with Advanced Return. Um, let's be a greedy. We want an Infinity. And we want Mighty Guard. Phew, that's been super greedy. Yep. Want Mighty Guard. We want highlight prices. A max of uh, 20. 20. Which is... Eh. No, thank you. 15. Gives us strength, max life, max mana. Hmm. It's okay. Ooh, a 10. Restoration, that's good. For a starter, anyway. Max life, that's really nice. A 15, just says int, no thank you. 12, no thanks, no thanks. Ooh, that's not bad for 10. Uh, I'm just going to look at any really cheap ones. Just quickly. <clears throat> nope. 9. Uh, if we're desperate. And because we are looking for Mighty Guard or Isomorphic, we also search for Isomorphic instead of Mighty Guard. Max price of 20. Restoration skills, they've gone for a corruption of Isomorphic Arms increase. That's actually pretty decent. 15. No thanks. No thanks. I think I'm spending too long on this. Alright, so we have... Let's look at the cheap ones first. That's got max mana. Strength, which is, gives us minion damage. Mighty Guard. Uh, 10. Cold Res. Defense. This one's really nice. Um, no... Additional defense from chest is really nice. Restoration skills is really nice. Um, although it's 18. Uh, I really like this one. So we'll go with that. That brings us up to, what, 54? 
So that's our gear sorted. We are capped res. We have 3,500 life. Um, energy um, is actually pretty decent. 480. That should be enough for the six links of stuff that we need. Um, I'm not going to go as far as removing uh, all of these. The, the buff that they give isn't that huge. Uh, and I don't want to show you with level 16 uh, skills. However, for some of these... Oh, I don't have enough. Interesting. Uh, I think defense is probably needed. Let's try without the second six link. Um, that enables all the defenses. This is just going to remove Mark. Uh, or Chris Director. Oh, we'll leave Mark there because that benefits this one. Um, we might as well do skills while we're here. Uh, spider tanks have more health than uh, machine guards. That's why I use spider tanks. Um, mechanical modification for the 100% extra halves the amount that you can pull out. You're pulling out three at a time or two at a time, most likely in this because we don't have the boots. Um, crit strike chance, crit strike damage, uh, steamroll for the radius and damage, uh, and tendon slicer for more damage and chance to ignore armor. Compound potion, we want to use residue, so at the, when you get to max life, it doesn't end. It keeps going, at, so it's basically just a um, few second uh, regen. So it's cool down eight seconds, last for three seconds. So instead of it being a one second, you're now max life, it is a three second regen. Uh, we want to give it extra armor and reduce damage taken. And because we are re, um, reserving most of our mana, the extra effects of emergency restoration are always in effect. So 19% uh, restoration effect while at low mana, we are below 35% mana because it is reserved. Um, minion... Same deal as the first one, except this one is buffing. So Mark has a 40% chance to mark enemies when you hit with a supported skill. The supported skill deals 30% additional damage to marked enemies. And the marked gives the target is locked, evasion reduced, and crit strike damage taken is increased. So that is applied to both sets of minions because it's on the target. Here we have Protection Field, um, which transfers 33% damage to a random minion. That's what you're using it for. Uh, cooldown reduction so happens more often. Um, extended duration, efficient cast, uh, reduced cost. Um, here we have Blink, which is our mo uh, mobility of, uh, skill. 30% uh, increased attack and cast speed. Uh, while the buff lasts, lasts for two seconds, just means you can cast it faster. Uh, mobility, uh, again, attack and cast speed and cooldown recovery speed. You can blink more often. Efficient cast, more cast speed. Um, on to regen, activate all. Uh, we have rejuve. Uh, I think even precise rejuve is like one FE, so it's nothing anyway. Um, seal conversion, so it costs, uh, reserves health instead of um, mana. Actually, reserved quite a bit. Maybe if we deactivate that, hmm. that's ten percent of our life because it's quite a low pull. Um, so we will remove magic source. You put that on later um, when you can activate that node that gives. Uh, mana regen to life um, because that will give you life regen instead because you're always max mana anyway and a bit more movement speed probably don't need this either 
Uh, that gives us a lot more life, actually. So we'll do that. We'll remove this so we don't get spammed. Whoa, if we had three more, we could go with the six link. Um, might look at gear at the end. Um, fearless for crit jank, crit chance, crit damage, skill radius for minions. Um, that's insane for this. Weapon amplification, more damage, and paralysis. Uh, if you use precise, if you don't use precise, it's not going to have uh, paralysis. Who cares, really? Um, and less mana reserved. Your auto defense with reform, uh, refreshes barrier and additional barrier absorption. Iron fortification for more armor, more armorers, more barrier, more armorers, reduced damage taken, and cooldown reduction. Um, because we want this up as much as possible. Uh, next, we are going to buy a hero relic as well as three uh, memories. So we'll go, we'll clear this. That's already cleared. Go with hero relics. Uh, we want overloading core. We want hero memory effect. And we want minion uh, crit. Uh, we want a cheap one. So we want a max of five. 26, 30. Uh, we know we can get a 30. So minimum 30. Highlight prices, confirm five. That one's one, five, what's this one? It's 39, it's not horrible. 32, all right, that looks like it's about it. So the five is 30% 46, one is 30% 44. So we'll go with this one. Advanced, go back. No longer want that. We want memories. Uh, we'll no longer get that. Uh, we're not access. We want minion max life. And uh, minion damage. Should we be able to get a 40? So that's 20, 20, oh, that's too much. Uh, 29, that's pretty decent. No, no. Let's return, we'll make this 30. Highlight, max five. Nothing, oh well, whatever. Uh, minion, 20. Forty twenty, forty twenty, forty twenty. Um, instead of that, let's go with self destruct. Why can I not see it? Self destruct. Additional self destruct. There we go. Is there any for five? No, there's not. Cheapest is 10. Might be worth getting one for 10. And what's the other one that's good? I cannot think of it. So let's just check this. Good strike chance. One, two. Let's just get that. I think we're still below the 100 FE anyway. So collect, 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 collect. Soul burst, interesting. <clears throat> so that was 
up to 54, uh, 55, 65, 67, uh, we're up to 67, uh, 72. However, I wanted to be thorough, so trait details, uh, I thought we'd get an overview, guess not, doesn't matter. Yes, we've got heaps of stuff available, does, I don't care. Let's quickly see if we can get the extra three points that we need. Um, this can... Go up to 122. Come on. Oh, there we go. 122. And if you get max, it stops you. So that enables us to activate this. And that, and that's our build pretty much complete. 490 is what you need. All right, so we are quite slow. Um, that's because some stats do not update uh, until you uh, zone and come back. So let's quickly test this. Um, We'll not be doing tier 8 right this second. Uh, it's a starter. So let's go with um, what you'll start with, I guess. Um, let's go with tier 5. That's 76 to 78. Let's not do that. Tier 6 is 79 to 81. 82 to 83. Let's just see how it goes. I don't know how it's going to go. Uh, this is just all off the cuff. Uh, it's fresh. What do we got? Oh, wealthy boxer. Oh. <sighs> wow. That's going to cost me a lot. Uh, anyway, let's go with... We're going to go drop quantity into drop uh, upgrade into wealthy boxer. Um, we don't have the conversion of rare gear uh, to flame fuel, so that's garbage. Uh, we're not going to modify that because I don't know how this is going to go. This whole video might be a waste. Uh, we'll see. Apparently not. We'll probably do T8 in this less than 100 FE. Uh, so after this one, it's clear that T7 is a joke for this build uh, at this budget. Yes, we had a tier 4 drop. Awesome. Maybe we'll get lucky off the boss and get something decent. I doubt it. It's not really a juiced map at all. Looking <coughs> at embers. Boss was deleted. Okay. I underestimated how good this would be. Uh, whatever armament. Um, I don't even know if I'm breeding anything at the moment. Weren't. No, it's the first one. Let's go with the arrow memories because why not? Go back. We'll do a test dummy. We'll do a path of the brave uh, one. Maybe a path of the brave two. Oh, it's so slow compared to my other build. <laughs> but this is a starter. So let's just go with 85. Wow, that's my damage action. 
actually this garbage. 100. 54. Interesting to see if we can do Path the Brave, actually. So you can definitely do tier 7. Uh, you can do simple rotations on tier 7 and uh, get a lot of currency to buy much better gear. Uh, if you don't know, you can go to the trader and go to the beacon shop and for Netherrealm Essence, you can buy as many tier 7 beacons as you like. Uh, you can buy these 1 to 500. So 500 is 40 uh, beacons. So it's pretty much an endless amount of uh, beacons. If you don't know how to place a buy order, all you need to do is go to my booth, go down here, sell one uh, for 500, put it on, someone will fill that, and then you've got 40 uh, or probably more like 35 um, beacons after tax. So proof of brave, let's do a one. This is saying you need uh, 5.4 million DPS, which the game doesn't recognize that we have any DPS because we are a minion build. Might have to be careful. With my other build, I do not move ever. Uh, for Path of Brave 1 and rarely move to Path of Brave 2. So this is a starter. If we can do this, then you can potentially make uh, 20 to 30 Flame Elementium an hour doing this. Uh, might as well use the defensive cooldowns because... The beauty of these weapons is every time we use an ability to summon our minions, we are healing ourselves for 6% max life. So if you are getting smashed, don't run away. Just spam summon minions and you will heal up. Use your defensive cooldowns uh, and all will be good. So here is some elites. Won't stand in that. Uh, normally I would, but not today. Actually, the next one I'm going to stand in. Okay, I did nothing anyway. Never mind. I was worried for no reason. This build is absolutely bonkers. And uh, it tanks really, really well. As you can see, I've barely moved. I was worried for nothing, just like in the tier 7 map. Uh, once we complete this, I'm actually going to do a tier 8 map, uh, just to see how it goes. Here's the boss. It's going to take a bit of time, uh, because if you don't kill her fast enough, she uh, phases. Phasing's kind of annoying. There she goes. Oh no. There she goes. Just gonna stand still to see if we can. Yep, we can tank them too. Wow. <laughs> I don't remember how insane this was uh, when I first got to maps. Um, obviously, I didn't have a budget of uh, 70 odd FE to start. However, uh, it's quite easy to just get cap res. Uh, res cap, sorry. Uh, and do this content. You can just sit in Path the Brave for the first day, uh, make easily um, 50, even 40 FE. Uh, day two, you're just as this. Uh, day three, you're saving up for uh, the boots, um, which are mind infusion. That'll enable you to bring out three minions at a time which is effectively increasing your DPS by 50%, which is humongous. Um, so that Path of the Brave 1 that we just did, you can pick those up for um, next to nothing. Um, so a quarter of one uh, Flame Elementium 
if you use the buy orders to sell one FE for 500 energy cores, then you can trade 99 energy cores for one um, part for Brave 1. So this is a tier 8 map. Um, order Moto kind of struggles with this um, with reasonable uh, gear, probably more expensive gear than this. Um, let me know in the comments if you're even watching at this point. Um, and if you think that a budget of 70 flame elementium is too much. Oh, there we go. Died. I wasn't really paying attention. That's probably the way to die. Uh, I probably could have just dashed away or used the defensive cooldown or, you know, anything. Cute fossil. Shame it wasn't a spiral. Cutes aren't worth anything. It's kind of slow um, as you get any of the good upgrades that I mentioned in my other build guide. Uh, you'll start flying through maps. Oh, died again. I'm really not paying much attention. Uh, as I probably should be, just to smash through this. This video is going on and on and on. I apologise. But, I wanted to be thorough, showcase what this build can do on a low budget. And, uh, yeah, you can do tier 8, which is quite nuts. Um, I didn't use any Nether Realm to buff the map. Um, bosses quite crazy compared to the tier 7 boss as it should be tier 8 is essentially hard mode air quotes um, so you're meant to have good gear before trying tier 8 uh, charge moto is uh, it costs real money to play at the moment. Um, next league, you might have enough hero tokens saved up through the uh, season journey to buy Charge Moto, uh, if you played last season as well. Uh, if not, you might have to wait one more season after that. I don't know. However, considering how fun it is to play Charge Moto, um, why not? 10 additional rare gear. Hopefully I get rare gear into memories uh, later on. So that's the build guide. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the first upgrade that I would suggest is, oops, I don't want that, uh, getting a mind infusion boots. Right there. Uh, these are, you know, 30, 40 FE. Let's just look at a 40. Uh, it's uncorroded, which is good. Uh, plus one minion skill level is crazy. Plus one max synthetic troop is crazy. Um, let's just quickly equip the ones that I have. Where's my gear? There's my gear. This is probably equal to or worse than that um, 40 FE pair. Hopefully, yeah, we're still res cap. Ooh, we don't quite have the energy. We don't have the energy. Um... Some new gear? Let's quickly. Yeah, let's do this. Q. 
give me 61. There we go. Just had to ask the game, you know. Go to skills. What's not activated? All defenses. So. There we go. All activated. Make sure everything is activated. I don't know if this is going to have updated. Yep, so it's allowing me to summon three at a time. Um, probably pressing is too fast, but anyway. As you can see, it's 60 to 70 million now. Um, with... Oh my god, did I... I've got Mighty Guard and I forgot to go into here and choose Isomorphic. The whole reason we got Infinity and I was not using it during the test. I am a genius. <laughs> Actual genius. Uh, now we have to zone to get this to update. Anyway, we'll have uh, the damage stats of this weapon applying to the minion as well, double dipping, etc. Uh, the point or the main point of Infinity is to get a weapon like. Um, so you want a two-handed weapon, two-handed hammer. Doesn't really matter which hammer. You want minion damage. Minion max life, minion damage, minion skill level. You want minimum of two because you can use a um, ember to re-roll and the tier one is two to three. Uh, and then you want other good stuff with it. However, just looking at 50. So I got minion max life, minion damage, minion skill level, uh, crit strike damage. This is enchanted. I don't know if you can um, roll that. Uh, this one's a good example. It's got crit strike damage, um, which is applied to minions. Minion damage, minion skill. That's really good for 20. Um, For the sake of the video, I might buy it just to uh, just to demonstrate. Oh, this one's plus three minion crit crit. Let's buy this one instead. Twenty five. Ah, Spot, are you kidding me? Urgh. Let's buy this one instead. All right. So after a day of grinding, you have got yourself thirty fe. Uh, and that's good. So the energy was more anyway. So we didn't lose anything in here. I'm still at 490. Uh, we just got 20 extra. We can the potentially um, add in another item. I'm going to have to zone and zone back, aren't I? That is so annoying. Because, see, it hasn't even... Um, reserved the mana. So I'm just going to go and waste a map so I can let's not waste a tier 8 map. Let's waste a tier 7 because I don't really care. Open portal. Go in here. This video is going for an insane amount of time. Probably my longest video ever. Uh, but I feel like I'm being quite thorough. Um, select the calibration intensity. Why did that Please not work? The there we go. Seventy to a hundred million. So 
as you get more and more pieces, the um, damage amps up, and the uh, examples that I gave just before, the uh, Path of Brave 1, the Tier 7, the Tier 8 map, that was on 40 million damage. Now you're doing up to 90 million damage. Um, the helmet you would replace with um, better and better gear, you would get better relics, better hero memories. Um, eventually you want a uh, breast pin, uh, which will be your major, major upgrade. I was super lucky. I had one of these drop in a map, so it cost me nothing. Uh, your minions only deal physical damage, so be careful if you follow a different guy that converts damage to uh, conversion. Uh, then you'll have to corrode one of these and get uh, your minions cannot deal physical damage. But this part here, crit strike rating and crit strike damage, is also applied to minions, is absolutely insane. It also gives minion damage, minion life, so crazy crazy stats uh, that will change your uh, minion crit strike rating from 60 to about 80 to 90 percent but mainly it will change your minion crit strike damage from 400 to 800 to a thousand percent which is absolutely insane 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 uh, minion crit strike damage uh, double double damage chance that will go up to about 60% as well. Um, this one doesn't have it, but my other weapon uh, in here. So this is my main gear. This cost me about 80 flame elementium or 100, and then I spent another 100 on it, uh, re-rolling ominous until I got chance to do double damage twice. So this will add another 47% chance for minions to deal double damage, huge crit strike damage, uh, minion skill level, etc. Uh, that's all I've got. Thank you very mu much for watching. If you made it this far, uh, leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe, etc.